heard the diss uh, from NWA, and you know they diss. They was talking about doing all kind of shit to me, like yeah. broomsticks. And, <laughs> okay, so I was mad. I, I wrote the record in ninety minutes. I wrote the record in ninety minutes, all three verses, and um, I didn't. I didn't. I didn't let none of my crew hear the verses until I got the perfect beat, uh, which my man DJ Pooh. Um, yeah. The, the mad scientist DJ Pooh uh, looped up him and Bobcat um, and, and Rashad from the Boogeyman. They looped up that uh, that Daz band. Yeah, man. And um, you know, I was like, okay, this is the perfect beat. This this the one. And uh, and I spit the verse, and they they couldn't believe it. They was just quiet. Their mouths was open. <laughs> One of them said, you gonna put that out? Said, yeah, I'm putting that shit out. <laughs> shit going on the end of the album, watch. Man, yeah. It was the perfect intro too, man. I remember the first time I heard No Vaseline, man. I was uh, going to West LA City College. You know how you go to college just so you can tell people you going somewhere so they don't think you lazy? <laughs> wasn't like I was trying to get a degree or no shit. And I was up there with my homeboy DJ Ray, and we were just chilling at West LA City College in the park. You, you kicked it on the hill in the parking lot was down the way. And I remember I heard just like, <sighs> yeah. then I heard, fuck all y'all. <laughs> hey dude, then I heard, God damn, I'm glad y'all said it all. Me and Ray popped up like, what the fuck is that? But we knew your voice, because you know, there were times when you just knew someone's voice and it was like, there was no real sloppy carbon copies. It was like, when you heard Chuck D from Public Enemy, you knew that was Chuck. When you heard, you know, Big Daddy Kane, you knew that was Big Daddy Kane. When you heard LL, so when I heard that, we were like, dude, that's cute. And I could hear, like, one of them Nissan trucks or some shit banging it. Man, we left school and went to, like, I think it was Music Plus or Warehouse on La Brea. And from that moment on, that has been one of my favorite songs to this day. Even knowing everybody in the content, I still, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That, that's just one of those, man, that you can't compare. And you got so many of those with a vast catalog that I'm glad that you say, you know what, man, you haven't seen the best Ice Cube yet. Nah, you know, um, I wake up every day. You know, I always think I could get better. I think I could. I could do better movies, I could do better music, um, produce better, yes, sir. you know, so I'm always looking to, to improve. I'm never uh, satisfied. And most of the time when, when I put something out, I'm usually working on something else. Right. So I'm quick to, I'm quick to keep it moving. Once I put it out, you know, I, I I'm like an artist, you know, you paint something, you put it on the wall, and you just off to the next. And, you know, you hope people dig it. 